Hey guys, welcome to Efficient Sir. This is another uh, series of video under topic uh, Angular Performance. Today we are going to cover a topic about uh, AOT compilation. So, what is AOT? AOT is like a common term uh, used in uh, computer science. Uh, it's like uh, combining a higher level language into uh, machine code, like a runnable kind of codes. Uh, as example, uh, when we do a C, uh, C code, uh, what uh, we, we will do is like when we compile uh, the files, uh, we will get a runnable uh, exe files. When we uh, run the exe file, we don't have to do like again the compilation. We can just uh, run the files as it is and get some outputs or do some operations. So we have a similar concept in Angular uh, like a AOT compilation. So why we need a compilation in Angular? Our Angular application view will have various components and, bind and bindings in it. All of those things needs to be run natively in JavaScript in the browser. So it needs to compile down into native JavaScript. In Angular, uh, it's not actually a compilation. We are just uh, transpiling the JavaScript into uh, like uh, uh, TypeScript into JavaScript, uh, which a browser can uh, understand. For example, we have concept called a component, decorator, etc. Browser can't uh, understand the components and all. So it should be compiled into browser understandable code, which is a uh, native JavaScript. So this uh, machine understandable or the browser understandable JavaScript is called as a virtual machine friendly code. Angular supports uh, two types of compilation in it. First one is just in time, which is a uh, compilation happens during the runtime. Second one is ahead of uh, time, which means that uh, the compilation happens during the build time itself. So the question now, ha will uh, occur is like a uh, what's the difference between this uh, just in time and ahead of time so what will be the major performance uh, impacts or performance improvements uh, between these two things let me explain so this is the process of a uh, just in time compilation we have a uh, very few process uh, happening here first one is like a uh, TypeScript compiler will compile the TypeScript code and uh, transpile it into uh, JavaScript code when I say JavaScript code, uh, here I mention as a Angular uh, uh, kind of a JavaScript. It may contain uh, um, like a component or a directive kind of a JavaScript code. And uh, what we will do is like uh, we will ship this code to the browser as well as uh, we will ship the uh, Angular libraries to the browser. What browser will do is like it will receive all the files and uh, use the Angular compiler to compile this uh, Angular JavaScript code to native JavaScript code which means like uh, if we have classes in uh, TypeScript or uh, Angular JavaScript, uh, it will be converted into a prototype kind of uh, native JavaScript code. I'm just saying as an example. Like uh, when we are shipping these Angular libraries as well as the Angular compiler, our package will uh, like a uh, little bit bigger, uh, bigger than the uh, expected thing. So you can ask me like uh, we are shipping the files and the uh, browser is compiling and uh, uh, rendering the HTML pages or the outputs uh, what we need. So what is the problem here? Actually the compiler runs uh, every time. That's the third step. So we are just uh, loaded all the files and the UI is rendered and everything is fine. What if I click the F5 button to refresh the web page or the current application? The compiler will again run from the uh, beginning and it will just compile those uh, things and uh, transpile or uh, convert into native JavaScript. So the compiler will run uh, each and every time and uh, that's where we are uh, lagging in the performance. So let's uh, switch to the AOT compilation settings or the process happening. So AOT is like uh, it will happen during the build time itself. For example, we will be building some applications or uh, the packages and we will uh, deploy it, uh, some machines or in a cloud. So that's it. So the first step is like uh, Angular compiler will compile those files and uh, make it as a runnable kind of uh, JavaScript code during the build time itself. And the second step is like the compiler is uh, runs only once, which means that during the building of the packages itself. The, and the major advantage is like uh, we are not going to ship this Angular compiler to the uh, browser because everything is compiled during the build time itself and we will explode those files from the, our packages. So the third one is like uh, our Angular CLI supports this uh, build process of uh, AOT. So it is built in, in the latest uh, Angular version. Uh, what we have to do is like uh, we have to use a uh, uh, custom flags uh, during our building our uh, application or uh, serving the application during the development time so another process happening here is like a uh, tree shaking and minification 
when i say tree sticking what it is like it is similar to the uh, what a tree will do uh, it will uh, remove the unused uh, leaves or uh, the unwanted things so our unwanted codes or unused codes will be uh, left uh, while, do, uh, while building the packages and uh, what is minification minification is like uh, aggregating or uh, minifying the code into a single line or uh, similar to the same but uh, what is the specialty in aot when we use uh, just in time uh, just in time we want to minify the html code under like uh, if a property is used in scripts as well as the html file the compilation will happen uh, during the uh, loading of uh, our application in the browser only that time it won't minify the html uh, properties and all so when we use aot everything gets compiled into inline in one file itself so when minification happens our uh, properties get minified and renamed in both the scripts and as well as uh, html files so we will uh, obtain a good uh, uh, performance when i say performance here it is like a network kind of performance the file size will be reduced and the uh, the longer variable names or properties will be renamed into uh, small sizes and the files will be minified and aggregated uh, during the build time itself so the browser won't to do anything we will just uh, doing everything in the build time itself so we are just saving lot of times uh, when we are uh, compiling in the just in time we are just uh, saving those times during this aot how we can uh, do these things we don't have to do much course or any changes in our application all we have to do is like we have to change the build uh, system here so in just in time we use uh, ng build ng server to build the application or serve the application whereas uh, in aot we have to just add the flags with uh, uh, iphone iphone or uh, dash dash ng build dash dash aot or uh, ng server dash dash aot so when we are uh, doing this uh, flags uh, the ahead of uh, time compilation will be happen and the package will be get ready as a runnable kind of uh, code during the building of packages itself let me show a example like uh, so i just created a, a basic uh, angular application using the angular cli i didn't change any code uh, in it i just uh, used the build process with uh, uh, two type of things jat and aot when i used uh, jat ng so uh, i just loaded the application in my uh, chrome browser as you can see like uh, 3.4 uh, mb is uh, transferred uh, when i have loaded the application in my browser and it took a uh, 3.51 seconds here so i have uh, just uh, served the application uh, the same application with the uh, aot flag so you can see that uh, it took only 2.2 mb to load the uh, application and uh, it takes only 1.45 seconds to load the application we didn't change any much code we just changed the uh, type of building system and uh, one of the main reason is like uh, we, we didn't uh, uh, ship the angular compiler uh, related files uh, in the to the browser actually and you can ask me like i have a, a large application uh, i used uh, ng server uh, but uh, i used ng server iphone iphone aot but i see uh, the package is uh, bigger when compared to jd actually that 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 will happen like uh, what it will do is like it will prefetch the external resources when we are using aot for example i am using external script what aot will do is like it will prefetch those details and make it as a part of our uh, packages but when you are loading the application you won't see any uh, uh, defect in uh, or uh, the disadvantage in loading time or performance in run time what it will do is like it will efficiently manage those files and load only uh, the files which needed so just uh, try out and uh, uh, leave your uh, comments in the below so what's next hope you guys uh, enjoy the video um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also you can follow us on uh, twitter as well as the website uh, efficientuser.com keep supporting and thanks for watching